Dear students, welcome to the class of Design Tool Workshop. As you know, this subject is purely practical based. So today we are going to start the new topic, which is Power BI. It, the Power BI is nothing but a software which is used for data visualization. As you know, data is nothing but a collection of some kind of information. Okay. Now this in CO one you have done Excel, Word, PPT. Now, the what is the use of Excel, MS Excel? Yes, it is used to visualize the data in the form of some kind of graphs or plots, correct? So, in same kind, the Power BI is another tool or another software where we will visualize the data in the form of different types of charts, graphs. Now, what is the difference between Excel and Power BI? Both are used for same purpose. In both place, we are making some graphs. So why we are using this? The Power BI is very easy in comparison to Excel. When you are will do experiment, we will come to know about this thing. In Power BI, we have to import some data. We have to data means we have to import some Excel file, or we can take from internet directly by cloud computing. All such kind of facilities are available here. And here the plots and graphs will look very much good, interesting. Okay, so let's start. You have to install Power BI software in your system. How to start? Just open the in Google. Type here Power BI Desktop Download. Click here. This first very first website Microsoft. Now sometimes the site will take you to the Play Store. You don't need to install from Play Store. You have to download the software from this particular website of Microsoft. Click here. Here you can find select language English. Click download. Here it is asking which setup. Two setups are there. This normal one is 32-bit operating system, and the second one is 64-bit operating system. If you are having 64 Normally, nowadays the 64 bit systems are coming. So, click on this and click on download, it will download. After downloading, follow the instructions, a simple instructions are there, follow it to install it. I will not going to tell those things, just I will start the experiment now. So, after installing, you will get this kind of icon written Power BI desktop. Double click on it. It will take some time based on the speed of the internet and server. Then you will get this screen, cancel it. Now here you can see the interface, it is showing import data from Excel, from SQL server. SQL server means from internet you can download some data directly, cloud computing. Here we have Excel data with us. First of all, save one Excel sheet containing some data. Okay. I have downloaded Excel sheet here. I will use this Excel sheet here. Now I can drag and drop from here to here. This is one way. Another way is click here import data from Excel. Select anyone. For example, I am selecting this particular raw state level data. Click on open. It is uploading here. Now you can see here it is displaying the name raw state level data. Now what is this pivot table and sheet? These are the two sheets inside this Excel file. I want to work in sheet 1. See, when I click this, the right side is purely blank, there is nothing. When I click on this check box, you can see the data is loaded. You have to also do this step. Then in the downside, you can see here it is written load, transform data and cancel the load is highlighted. Click on load option. The change you will observe here. It is giving the message apply changes and all those things. No need to do anything. Cancel it. No need to do anything. Now you can see in the right side that sheet 1 is appearing here. Same thing we have loaded. Now you can see here greater than is smaller than symbol. This is a menu bar. Click here. Again it is showing 5 different data. What are these things? Now in Excel sheet, 
I told you there are different columns and different rows. These are nothing but name of different columns. There are total five columns. Total confirm, name of state, death, debt, cured and discharge. Okay. Now, for plotting any graph, any kind of graph, you require minimum two axes, x axis and y axis. Okay. What does it mean? We require at least two columns to plot any kind of graph. We need at least two columns. So, I will select two columns. Here there are five. I will select any two columns. Uh, suppose I am selecting this name of state and second total confirm. I have selected here. You can see here on the left side on the blank space, you got one box, but nothing is appearing here. Why? Why this is happening, sir? Some data should be there. Why it is not there? The reason is here you can see different types of charts. You have to select a particular chart form here which you want to plot. Suppose I am selecting this first one bar chart. Here you can see graph is plotted. So, it is very easy to plot a graph in this Power BI software as you can see now. Now, I am selecting another two data. You can see here on the left side again one box is appearing. This time I will select some different type of chart, column chart. You can see here. Next, again I will select another data. Now, this time I will select the pie chart. Now, you can see here I got the pie chart, correct. Again, I will select something and I will select on this map. What is this map? You are watching news daily. If you want to know about weather condition of some place, so how you are, how it is displayed in the news? there will be a map of India. It will show different states. It will show which state, what is the temperature, what is the weather condition correct, how it is coming. So, this is the option for that. Please click on this map option. It will directly connect to the internet. It is taking some time depending on the connection or internet facility. If it is not coming, then what we can do? we can select some other option, no issue. I think it is taking time. So, select some other option. Many a time what will happen? Every data is not suitable for every kind of charts. A specific data is valid for a spe specific type of chart. Okay? Now, I have to make four different graphs I made here. Now, I want to write something. Suppose I want to write my name or your roll number, something. You are going to submit this as a home assignment, as a project. So, you have to write your name also. So, where I will write? So, there is option text box. Select this text box. You can see here a box is appearing. Here it is showing the size, font size, font style, bold, italic, different options, color, everything. Okay, so I will write by default. I am picking any random number. Okay, so it is very small, not visible at all. So what I will do? I will choose this. I will choose this. I will increase the size from here, font size. Next, I can change the type. I can bold it, italic, whatever I want. I can change the color. Many things I can do. It should be very small, okay. I will make it larger, okay. Now I will minimize this space. Now I will shift this in the top, I will make it well organized way, okay. Now, sir, it is looking very boring, white, everything is white. I want to make it more attractive, more colorful. What I can do? I can put colors here. Select this option and here on the right side you can see many options are available, properties, title, all those things. Okay. Select here, here it is showing background color, color is by default white. I will change it. I am making this, this color. 
transparency I will change it transparency in between 0 to 50 something I will put now you can see here the effect ok. In the same way I want to change the color of complete background. So, here is the option format click here canvas background go to color select some different color again change the transparency you can see here now it is changed. In the same way you people are going to make those effects here. Now for example, I change to want to change the color of plot I can change this also come here format see the options effect background change here this particular color it is not suitable very good ok. So, change it try some other option yes it is good now change the transparency now it is very beautiful. So, here the your things stops these things you have to do one more thing you can put here is slicer. What is this slicer? Suppose you are going to Amazon site Flipkart site you want to purchase a particular shoe shoe can be of 300 rupees it can be of 3 lakhs you will select particular range that is nothing but it can be done by the help of slicer here you can put the slicer. Now, because I do not have anything where I can slice it like some date or some price. So, I am not getting as I told you it depends on the data everything will not suit to the every data correct. So, it is not coming here otherwise you can give here some thing if I have some price value I can give here if I have selected any graph for data date I can give you slice with the help of date right now I do not have anything. Uh, for example, I will select this date graph ok for you peoples I will do this. Now, if I want to slice now it is not coming there is server problem, but you can do all these things you can put filters slicer effect all those things here ok. So, this is the thing how you are going to use power vi for data visualization purpose. Make it more attractive explore all other different options and write your name also while submitting this home assignment am I clear? any doubts you can ask me if you are having any doubts otherwise ha huh, one more thing while saving home assignment you have to submit it in LMS take the screenshot of this particular thing and paste in your lab manual in word file and convert it into PDF and upload in LMS this completes your project or practical or experiment of power bi. So, good day we will meet in our next session of DTW take care bye.